If you had 24 hours with these two cars, what would you do? As it turns out, our company is sort of annoyed with all of the dirt ball stuff that we've been doing on Roadkill, so they threw money at us. They gave us $6,000. So we went and rented this Lamborghini Aventador. So that's, like that's like $4 a minute for the next 24 hours. That's like, if you're from Alabama, that's your mortgage for about, I don't know, seven or eight months. Oh, well that car <laughs> cost as much as my house. The tax on it is as much as we pay you in a year. That hurts, so. but yeah. This is a 2012 Lamborghini Aventador. It's supposed to be the king of the hill. The California model has 691 horsepower. It's a seven speed paddle shifted single clutch transmission. It's all wheel drive and it looks like a giant piece of Tupperware. We got 24 hours to do whatever we want with it, but we didn't really want to be seen in it. So we also brought this car with us. This rat rod is a 1930 Model A two door sedan and it was bought as sort of a hacked up rat rod and Hot Rod Magazine, in conjunction with Mackey's Hot Rod Shop, reworked it for Sailor Jerry Rum. It's a marketing piece. It's designed basically to just be looked at, which is kind of a good thing because it's a little hard to drive with how heavily chopped and channeled it is. It's powered by a small block Chevy and it has a turbo 350 automatic transmission. So we're gonna hit the road here in Southern California and see what kind of damage we can do. Which one are you gonna drive? Well, I know you're the boss. So, so you I get, get to pick? You get to pick. I'm taking the rat rod. Wow, that was a surprise. <laughs> All right, that was such a surprise, my glasses are in here already. <laughs> I'm not sure which one of these is worse, to tell you the truth. Not sure how to even drive this thing. Okay, this car actually has like bathroom door locks. <laughs> That's what sex sounds like right there. Do you see my steering wheel anywhere? Don't worry, that'll buff out. Aha! I found it! Don't hurt yourself, boy. I'm at it! Okay, you ready to go in that gold chain mobile? I know this cool place down by the beach. We're gonna go have breakfast, see what people think of these two cars together, okay? Stuck! <laughs> you got stuck. It's stuck! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's why I chose the Lamborghini. <laughs> you can't go backwards either. Uh, as big a douchebag as I feel for driving a rented Lamborghini, the fact that he's stuck in the death trap on a driveway that's too steep, that's somehow worse to me. <laughs> Man, it's hard to get out of this thing. It's gonna be a long day for him. Hey, Finn again? Yeah, I think I'll just listen to the radio. I can't even get out. I need a hand, I literally can't get out. <laughs> what a piece of crap. Not happening. I think rocking it was helping. Yeah. Ready? Not happening. Dude, the rocker's stuck in the ground. Yeah, I know. You beached it. Hot rods are perfectly practical vehicles for daily use. Dude, it's, it bashed the door. Yeah, you need to get out too. We need the weight off of it. Okay, let's see if we can shove it backwards. There we go. That's gonna get it. Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah. 
jump in and back up, hug this wall, and then come across this. Okay. Okay, hard. Yeah, there you go. Yep. What am I doing? This thing runs. Start yep. it. Don't stop. Just go. Are you sure that's not going to just rip the quarter panels off of it? This is the only driveway. But does that mean we want to just rip the quarter panels off? Do this. Cut the wheel this way, back up more, and hit it more of an angle. Go for it! <laughs> Sailor Jerry will probably never loan us their car again. Whoops. You'll know when I leave, the door's not going to fly open. Love the Lambo. Good thing it was this car and not the Lamborghini. I'm so glad that was you and not me. <laughs> the Rat Rod is a whole lot of fun in theory until somebody forces you to actually drive it. The car is so heavily chopped that there's barely any windshield in it. And it's so heavily channeled that there's not a lot of headroom and not a lot of space between the steering wheel and the floor. So to drive this thing, I had to lean way back, put my foot up on the dash, and sort of drive, you know, full on monkey style in the thing. It was, it was actually pretty miserable. The most excitement I'm having right now is hitting the button to raise and lower the front end for railroad tracks, potholes, and driveways. So pretty much I'm relegated to just posing right now and saying, hey, hey girl, how you doing? Meanwhile, Freiburger is in the talk like a pirate car. Yeah, baby. With no air conditioning, no radio. The place gets quiet. No safety. It's impossible to see out of this thing. No shame. Oh yeah, this is hot rodding. Yeah, I could drive this every day. I'd be all right with that. This thing would be fantastic if there was no other cars on the road. Nobody's really looking at me in this car. It's like I'm invisible. They're all checking out the pirate car in front of me. Model A is kind of popular right now. I think because people are worried about running into it and needing a tetanus shot afterwards. Ah, yes, it is better to look good than to feel good. And I look good. Turn signal lever is kind of in a weird spot here because of the paddle shifters. Notice the hand signal? Yeah, there's no turn signals. I don't even know if I remember what those are. Corvette guy digs me. Ah, uh, the old broads like the Sailor Jerry car. Check it out. See? Old people dig it. Nobody gives a shit about the Lamborghini. Uh, David is driving so slow because if he drove any faster, he'd kill himself. There is no speedometer. The brakes only sort of work. He can't see anything. Yeah, just get used to this. It's going to be like this the whole trip. Out of gas! <laughs> David just ran out of gas. <laughs> hey, your shirt just didn't just load up? It's zero fuel pressure. Oh, uh, yeah, that's out of gas. So yeah. I need to go get gas in a Lamborghini? Yeah, go just throw a five gallon jug in there. No one will know. Yeah, nobody will care if I spill any on the leather. It's not bothering me right now. All right. What good is a $6,000 rental that you can't go get gas in? That's a good point. Be somebody. I'll be back. I win the chick attention thing so far. Oh, dude. Totally. You, you had some senior citizen blue hairs back there that were literally ready to rip their jogging suits off for you. Now, where do you find gas in Hermosity? What, you didn't want to spill it on the, on the lamp? <laughs> California gas can. Ugh. Get stuck in the driveway, run out of gas. I see how this day is going. <laughs> Dude, the restaurant's right around the corner and it's like right on the beach. Chicks playing volleyball and the whole deal. We're gonna prove once again that chicks dig the rat rod, not the Lambo. Beautiful downtown Hermosa Beach, California, where people have no idea what they're looking at with this car.
A big part of what we're doing here is really figuring out which one of these cars is a better attention whore. And we went down to the beach first thing, and I gotta say, chicks check out the rat rod and dudes check out the Lamborghini. Inverted of what you would think. So, so far, I completely win the chick contest. I'm serious. Dude, let me tell you something. The only people that have checked me out in that car are dudes. I stopped, opened the door, and the next thing you know, a little point-and-shoot camera came in the window, and I was like, what the fuck? And it was some guy going, I gotta have a picture of the Aventador logo for my roommate. I was like, <laughs> I couldn't even, I couldn't get out of the car. <laughs> Unreal, dude. That so, car is a death trap. I I've like, lie down in it just to be able to steer. I can't hear what you're saying because there's chicks playing volleyball in the TVs right now. Wow. This was the right place to come. I figure from here, we're almost obligated to cruise PCH a little bit and then hit Mulholland, right? Just, we need to get out of the city. Okay. The Lambo was useless. Yeah, the rat rod's fairly useless in I traffic as well. I didn't get out of third gear. It sucked. Good. So from here, out of the city, Mulholland, then after. We can go out to the desert where we can go really fast. Not going to jail. We have 24 hours to kill. Okay. Who's driving what? I'm driving the rat rod. Cruise the beach. We're going to Mulholland, so I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> Ready? Oh, the curves are going to suck in that thing. Not for me. I never had the Countach poster when I was a kid. I'm not a Lamborghini fanboy. I just don't care. Is it, is it not automatic? This thing's as hard to get into as the hot rod. So. All these guys who are worshiping that car on the Motor Trend YouTube channel every single week, I'm gonna give it to you straight. Is the Lamborghini really that cool? If you paid $400,000 for a car, wouldn't you want an electric seat adjuster? The Rat Rod is a total freak show. Difficult to drive, but badass nonetheless. This thing is a naturally aspirated V12, 6.5 liters, 691 horsepower, and I truly appreciate the 8,500 RPM red line. Can you hear that thumping? This thing does not drive that much differently than the hot rod. I wonder if it'll downshift. Yes, it will. Okay, yeah, it's peppy. Ha <laughs> ha! I feel like Carlos Lago right now. Poor Finnegan in front of me in the hot rod. Not good. So I was driving the Sailor Jerry car, and our goal was to get both cars up to Mulholland Drive and drive around the curves. We get stuck in typical LA traffic. About five miles into literally crawling, I watched the temp gauge just go 220, 230, 240. Hey, it's getting hot. Hey, the death trap is at 250 degrees. Do you want to pull over? No, pull over right here. I don't even know if I should turn it off. Hey, that thing will overheat the traffic, by the way. Yeah, not my car. I never got past 200 on me when we were just doing what we were doing. I never even looked at the gauge. Well, it doesn't <laughs> Andy, I wouldn't film this, there's cops everywhere. Hi. It's overheating? Yeah, it's a uh, maiden voyage in traffic. So we've uh, apparently found out the limit of the cooling system. Yeah. Is it right if we sit here for a few minutes, let it cool off, and then get it out of the way? Okay, I know we shouldn't be, but I'd hate to hurt the motor. How's it going? We rented it. I've never been in one before. It's, it's strange. Well, I have one every day. <laughs> uh, yeah, that thing's not going to get any better, so I guess we might as well just drive. It's puking cooling everywhere. Yeah, it's not going to cool down sitting there with the engine on. Okay. Well, oh, it. I'll see if it'll start. We'll just go. So, my first experience driving the rat rod was it overheating in LA traffic five miles after I get behind the wheel. Hey, it, uh, this thing's boiling over. I gotta get over, I gotta get off the road or something. 
before I can even get off the highway, it goes 260 on the gauge and a geyser comes out of the radiator overflow. And it literally shot straight up in the air over the cab of this thing. It's got a canvas top on it that wasn't on there and I was literally leaning over thinking, I'm getting burned right here. It's going through the roof. Holy shit. So on Roadkill, we're on a loose schedule. Yeah, remember that thing we said we were gonna do about going to Mulholland and hauling butt around curves? That's not happening, because this thing overheated. California has this bitchin' program with guys in trucks that just drive around and help stranded motorists, and so that guy pulled over, gave us a bunch of water, cooled it off, and we hit the road again maybe a half hour later. And after that, it was fine. As long as that car is moving, you're good to go. You get stuck in traffic, you're getting scalded, probably. The overheating blew our plans to go blast around Mulholland, and the thing we've got to do now is get out to the desert, because what we're really doing with these two cars is shooting a really important cover for an all-new issue of Hot Rod Magazine, and we've got to meet the photographer out there. And with any luck, we'll get there early enough where we can beat the hell out of these things on the open road. You want to hop in? See the beauty of this is it's not my Lamborghini, so we can do this. <laughs> it doesn't sound good till you go. There you go, seven grand. When we stopped out in the middle of the desert, we met this young couple, and once again, the guy loved the Lambo. The chick really, really liked the hot one. What do you think of the Model A? I, I like it way better. You want to sit in? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and turn the key. Almost every woman we've run into wants to go for a ride in the Model A. What do you think? I like it. I want to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Desert Road hijinks. Mm, yes. Rochambeau. For what, the cars? Yep. All right. Ready? Oh. <laughs> so I pick well, what? Let me guess. The one that doesn't hurt your ass to drive. Bingo. <laughs> Shit. All right. About to go drag racing in a car that you really can't see more than 10 feet in front of. Not one of my brightest moves. But at least I'll look cool. Arr, let's go drag racing. Lamborghini has what they call thrust mode, which is essentially uh, launch control, drag race style launch control. And I tried to activate it, but it seems if you hold the thing up on the rev limiter long enough while you're trying to launch, that it eventually backs down or I lift and engage the automatic clutch. I don't know. I beat Freiburger driving the rat rod the first race. Second race, he kicked the crap out of me once he figured out how to drive the car. The thrust mode's actually kind of cool. Uh, you turn off the stability control and it lets you stand on the brake, floor the gas, it comes up to like 5,500 RPM, and then you just swap feet and mat it, and it hooks up and launches. It doesn't launch that hard. To me, it's not $400,000 fast at all. Is it the best day at work ever? This is probably the best one. <laughs> So after we were done messing around out in the desert, we had to wait till dusk and we went straight into our Hot Rod Magazine cover shoot. We found an abandoned desert road and the first thing we did is we got a couple very slow car to car shots to get some action for the magazine. And then our photographer, Wes Allison, set them both up on the road and we lit them to shoot the cover of the September issue of Hot Rod Magazine, which is going to be this all new, complete makeover on the magazine. So this was a really important shoot. It doesn't seem like it, but it's really hard work fooling around with really great cars. And so, done with the photo shoot, time to go eat some food. I'm pulling out here so I don't spill it. <laughs> oh, apparently, we can't drink in the Lambo. 
Uh-oh. We signed a contract. That's right. We can't afford to fail that contract. I will say this. I'm not a Lambo guy, but I'm definitely a V12 guy now. How's that? 8,500 RPM. Nothing sounds like that thing. Badass. It's like playing a video game. You're in seventh gear and tap, tap, tap. You're in second gear and it doesn't care and it doesn't whine about it. That's totally the best part of the car is the 70 mile an hour quadruple downshift and ah, eight grand. Yeah. Yeah. That's really its only redeeming value because chicks seem to like this better than that. I feel hotter. Most people say that they would take this home instead of that. You have to admit it. Yeah, those people have never gone for a ride and it, it doesn't stop. It doesn't go. This is literally a compound fracture waiting to happen. Oh, this is a death trap. <laughs> There's no argument there, Legs broken, stylish. shit dangling off. <laughs> <laughs> so, what now? I need to go somewhere. We've got, we've got like eight hours left. We're paying $5 a minute on the Lamborghini and we're hanging out in this pile. Yeah, that was 25 bucks right there. Yeah. I'm getting out of here. This was ostensibly a comparison of these two cars, although we really know that it was just a freak show for our fun and enjoyment. But I do have some thoughts to take away from it. The rat rod thing is so popular right now, and I know why. It's because the cars are cartoony and fun and evil, and they just look like we wish hot rods really were. The truth is, it's not fast, it's not a performance car, it's not that fun to drive around unless all you want to do is get looked at. It's a miracle I'm sitting here today. <laughs> the rat rod, there's no good way to describe this thing where you're gonna wanna drive this car. It's an attention grabber, it's a lot of fun. It's a cartoon, great marketing tool for Sailor Jerry, but not something that you wanna drive every single day, even though you can drive it to whatever car show you want. The Lamborghini, I, I just don't see it. Finnegan thinks that the car is brutally fast. If you're a real hot rodder, you're probably not gonna say you like a Lamborghini, but if you ever got the chance to be tossed the keys to one, you can't lie, it's amazing. It does have some value on the freeway when you're cruising along in sixth or seventh and you downshift to like second and stand on it. The V12 screams like a banshee and that is pretty cool. To me, that's the best feature of the car is being able to just shriek it to 8,500 RPM. But you know what? It's just as hard to get in and out of the Lamborghini as it is the rat rod. The scissor doors are just annoying. And you need like a, know how to run a Hewlett Packard computer to function the center console. Way too many switches and gadgets on it. It's not that comfortable. It's not that fast. The thing I will give it is that we had no real track time at all. No performance testing. On a road course, I think the Lamborghini would really kick ass. The all-wheel drive's unbeatable, but that's just not our skill set. We were looking at this more from a regular muscle car guy point of view. They're one-dimensional cars. You drive the rat rod because you want to be seen. You buy the Lambo because you want to be seen. You're never going to push it the way you should push it or the way we pushed it, you know? So pretty much they're posers cars, you know? You can afford either one. You buy it for whatever reason you want.